Justin, why you gotta talk about old girl like that? She's a little rough. She's the clap box. She's the clap box, the clap trap. Damn, this how does seem better yeah. days. You can't even tell on camera. It looks mint on camera. Ah, you can't kind of see yeah, something. You can see it too. Getting her on the lift. Good cleaning today, huh? Good cleaning. Needs yeah, it. She needs it in her engine bay here. They used to have uh, heat tape through the whole bay. Damn, I'm taking these. Hmm. <laughs> I got another set for you. What? You just now tell me. You just I should have known. I should have known. Mm -hmm. just what don't I have? I think literally. That's the better question. Well, what is that? Nah, that's that's. I don't know what that is. All right, I told Justin, fuck all of that. He's over there scrub a dubbing over there. So you guys remember the 07 that provided to the Forester? This is her heart. This is an IAG. What is it? Stage two and a half. So stage two and a half, which what that means is it's a piston rod, stock case, stock heads. This thing has stock fuel rails on it, stock turbo. All right, so we're gonna get this thing picked up, put it on the hoist. We're gonna get it on stand because we're gonna have to tear that thing down. Are we gonna go look on the fire cell if we got rails and shit? I know we do already. All right, looks like we're gonna be pulling the fire cell apart. You know, I told everyone to hit you up for parts. Do you get any messages yet? I got like two. Damn, we're starting to get the funnel of parts. Yeah. Told you guys. Anything, O2 and up. 2021. The 2021. You need GD parts, the hard to find stuff, the stuff that you were commenting in my other videos, flooding me with. Flood him I, with. I, I tried responding to him. He's, he's, didn't, no, you did not. I did a bit. Go down below, in the description. I put his email there. Email him. I got enough emails a day. <laughs> if you email me, it makes it very difficult to keep up on them. So let's get this engine hoist out. Here goes the clean shop. This thing's gonna be trash in about 20 minutes. All right, we got this thing up in the, the air, going on the stand right now. She got a little stocky. I was telling we should just run the stock clutch to the moon. They'd probably slip at like 350. No, we had good, no, uh, probably little, torque. Yeah. Probably 400 torque. Yeah. We've made good power on stock clutches before, and it's just kind of hit or miss or what kind of life they've had. We'll see what kind of life this one's had. <laughs> Pretty good life. It looked, it looked non-abused, judging by everything else on the motor. Dude, this 07 is just going alive. Again. See, this is what happens, guys. The, the cars keep other cars alive. You can't feel too bad. <laughs> I want to see how smoked this clutch is. I bet it looks brand new. Judging by how everything else looked, probably. And how the train felt? Yep. It looked, felt like they've never sent it in its life. No. Nope. It should probably bring it in here. Watch if you just destroy it. Never flat footed. Yeah. You're gonna get a flat head. Oh. I got them finger strikes. Oh yeah, I give her the slant. Yeah. Pretty yeah. new. Pretty yeah. much brand new. Pretty much brand new. Yep. Nothing too bad. Nothing we can't use. Nope. Yeah. Alright, get this on the stand. Then we'll go look at the fire cell. Because we need some parts. I don't know how budget we're trying to get on this. <laughs> this is the budget deal. Why are you pulling that off? We're going to be using it. Then the other one have a? Oh, if you get, yeah, if you get the other yeah. clutch. So we're working a deal right now trying to get an Exeti twin for this. And Budget's going the, out. And I want to I check the room and make sure she didn't get All right. You, you got a point. Uh -huh. And we got to pull this stock thing out. Stock up pipe, stock turbo. All that's going away. I think this had the. Eh, you can't see it. You'll see it later. We'll see. But get this thing ready to go on the stand, and we'll just start tearing this thing apart and getting it ready. Any riding? Probably not. I doubt it. No. No. Nope. That's probably just. Damn, that right. remains pissing. <laughs> Look at it. Oh yeah. And that pan. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If it's the rear main or the pan. That looks like the rear main. Yeah, that definitely looks like the rear main. Well, See, glad I pulled them apart. Good thing we got about 10,000 of those things yeah. here. Damn, it's got the good filter. I paused because I think that's the black Subaru one. Oh, yeah, it is. Is it? No. No? I don't know. No. Oh, I tried. All right. Let's get this rear main popped out. Then we can use a Company 23 tool. Yeah, I'm going to use that. All right. How bad would you be if uh, you, you put it in and you had a rear main leak? I'd let it leak. Hmm. I think that's probably what everyone would do at this point. Did you grab brake clear? Oh, damn, you didn't 
What are you trying to clean there? I don't know. Yeah, I got you. Best friend in the shop. Brake clean. Brake clean. Can't have a shop or a garage without brake clean. Uh, I guess I should grab you a new rear main, huh? Let's see here. Oh, there goes that. All right, well, here's our bag of OEM gaskets. God, there's so many stock head gaskets in there. Here we go, here's a stack. You got one. That one, you picked the lucky, the lucky. The lucky one. This says you're gonna make 9,000 wheel horsepower. There you go. This is a low friction, 10,000 RPM rear main. Guys, if you're working at home, you gotta use the Company 23 tool. This thing, a lifesaver, especially on a rear main. Those things are just pain in the ass to put in without the right tool. So we got one here. Obviously the box is dirty because we use the shit out of this thing. All right, here we go. We'll go right there. This is too much job. What is it? Okay. Damn, I didn't have the pliers over here. You know, usually I use a flathead, but Justin says, get the screw. We need the screw. I don't know if this screw is going to work. It's not my usual screw. This thing's going to screw us. I don't know. Do I trust you? You're probably going to pull it out. Why? What do you mean I'm going to pull it out? I'm gonna, then, then I, that's what I want to do. Oh you, my. Here. Yeah. Rookie. I like my flathead trick. Well then, why aren't you using it? Because you said this works better. Well, it's because it does. But see, you, didn't, you don't have a long enough screw. Oh, now it's on me. Yeah, it's always your fault. Remember, I'm your work wife. Oh, you did get it. I know I did. You're my work wife. That's my thingy. Put that bun. ball there so you can pinch it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. There you go. See? Bam. Bam. Like a pro. Like a pro. Like All right, show off. I can clean the surface out here. That was very well weird. Yeah, that's why I was having a hard time with the flathead. All right. That's all cleaned up. Now, let me open our box here. We got to lube this. Make sure when you put these things on, guys, nice thin layer of oil on the inside or assembly lube. You don't want to put those on dry. Won't be a good time. You'll be doing this job twice. So here we go. Very, I don't think lost. Very simple tool. Four bolts. This thing works like a champ though. All right. Well, I need lube. Try that. All right. There you go. I got the lube in there for you. Put that thing on. Get her uh, just sitting up there. Mm -hmm. Just it like that. And then, yeah. I'm sure you know how to, well, kind of. Maybe you don't know how to work that. Uh, like I said, I never. Oh, you lo almost lost my washer. I got it. I guess I should probably grab you the right size tool, huh? What is that, 17? Mm-hmm. You can put it on. I'll grab the socket for you. Mm. I think it's 17. What the hell is that? Oh, probably the... That's probably Corey's car. Yo. Good thing I got a limiter on there for Travis. Look at that. Blind man did it. Nice looking your wine. Yeah. I think so did he. Yeah, you have to tell me. Certain sequence or no? Well, I mean, just normal, like a wheel. Crisscross, mm -hmm. just get her started. This is pretty obvious at this point how mm -hmm. to do this. But this works like a champ. You do this. Bam. Installed. And we'll give her a good wipe, put her on the stand, get going. 
All right, so just to be sure, pull the timing covers off the thing, check timing, everything lined up. OEM Subaru belt. Uh, I did notice the, the oil cooler's got a good amount of oil on it, oddly enough. Leaking, no leaking. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that gasket, which almost like you said, it looks like power steering was leaking mm -hmm. down. I don't even know what is the oil cooler. Yeah, we'll doesn't see. look like it's that bad, but we're gonna have to pull the pan off because just to be sure, I mean, you can see oil all around here. Yeah. Better be safe than sorry. That yeah. thing in the car doing an oil pan would suck ass. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, we probably should have yeah. changed that sensor because yeah. remember when the yeah. Forester, it's... we pulled this sensor out and this thing's trashed. It's like something went through it. Yeah. I think it's, I think I tightened it. Yeah, yep, I did. Yeah, show them that sensor. It's seen better days for sure. There you go, know, it looks decent. Yeah, yeah. But then you get to the bottom. And then you get to this. Look at the sensor, guys. Yeah, she was a bitch. Oh, yeah. That means mm -hmm. smoke. Damn. So, Trash. we're going to get a new sensor on there. The timing cover didn't have any gasket on it. Uh, he had already pulled the AC out of that car because it was going to be the race car originally. Now it's going to be the street car. Uh, he still says no AC, though. I don't care. So, windows down. We're going to pull the pump off here. We won't be needing that where we're going. Has a nice cob inlet, but we're not gonna be using that for where we're going. So we're gonna get this thing down to a long block, pull the stock header off, like I told you, the up pipe turbo, get this thing ready. Mm -hmm. Then we'll get some parts on lunch. Yep. Hopefully, by today, this will be in there. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. There we are, 30 minutes later, full bear long block. So I already got that oil pan off. It actually ended up having an upgraded IG oil pickup. Definitely some dirty oil in there. Uh, the oil cooler sat to the side so we can change the gasket on that just to be safe. We'll get everything cleaned up. But for now, we're gonna go on a parts run, go to lunch. I'm gonna let this GoPro charge because time lapse really kill it. And then when we get back, we gotta decide what we gonna do. So. The fire sale is in the pen. That's outside. We're not going to crawl outside no. to work on it. No. So I think if we get the clutch on lunch, we come back, we clean up the oil pan, clean up the oil cooler, get the oil pan on, get everything done, get it sealed, put the clutch on it, sit it in the car, mm -hmm. then get the hatch in here, and then we got to pull motor. Yeah. It'll be easy. Yeah. And then, I mean, yeah, it doesn't take us very long. No. Working on it together, we'll get the motor pulled out, get its motor on a stand, and then we can Start take what parts we need mm -hmm. for this thing. We'll kind of swip swap so time to eat so our lunch took a little longer than what we expected three hours a little pal. longer yeah but we got all most almost of the parts oil pans back on oil cooler assemblies resealed new oem gasket on there this is all cleaned out in the timing area motor is ready to start bolting stuff on remy really fucked us today he was supposed to bring us our twin disc twin disc exactly he didn't and he really fucked us today. He didn't come, so Remy, fuck you, pal. Otherwise, this shit would've been in the car, even though we slacked. We just took the Holland out for rip. Kind of screwed you guys, didn't record. That thing, hmm. It's spicy. I wasn't spicy. expecting it. I, I thought, you know, just tipping into it, I was, I was a little bit let down, and then I flat-footed her one, two, three, and I was I was good, and mm -hmm. I don't know, she rips. Here we go, you gonna show them your, your goods? Yeah, it's not done yet, but it's it's all right. Now, don't, we, don't, we don't want the light on. No, nah, we got to get the light on. We got to get in there. The only good part, only good that came right there. It's a little, it's, it's all right. She's got some miles. She's got some miles. She's not perfect. She's not a show car. But 
She's looking good. Just got to finish up the firewall. and We were going to use an FP Black on this baby girl, but BCP reached out to us, mm -hmm. and we're going to test their X500R on this. So they are being nice enough to send that out to us, and Justin, nice enough to use his car and his motor. We can throw a car together for you guys and see what she does. I'm excited to see what it does. Oh, I'm excited. It, it's supposed to make 600 wheels, so I'm excited to see what we can do with it. Um, 600 wheel on our Mustang, what, it's usually 5, 510, 520 mm -hmm. region. So I'm excited, but that means we have to step up our game a little bit. Yep. We need injectors, mm -hmm. we need to upgrade our fuel system. So well, We got the fuel system, just need bigger injectors. That's true, we got the fuel system, we need to get bigger injectors. So we'll be doing that now that the bay is clean. Uh, yes. I think you're going to go get the clutch maybe, maybe tonight. tonight. Should. I should. Because then we can get some stuff done tomorrow. Um, then we can actually get the motor in the car, like our plan was today, but a little bit behind. Uh, Brian got me the powder coated parts back for the all drive Honda. These things look so good on here. So there is a couple that goes there, those wondering, but I went ahead and sat the valve cover back on it. So a lot of this stuff still mock up because this isn't the motor staying in it, but I don't know. I, say the, I still say the turbo looks smaller being black. Nah. Definitely not. So looks just as big. What do you guys think? I I can't wait for this thing to go together. And I will take you for you guys a ride in the hatch there. When it's not spur a moment. We weren't gonna go out. No. But we wanted to go here. VTEC. 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 That's gonna wrap it up, guys. That's our that's our day. That's our day. Yeah. I got more than enough clips here. If I take this into tomorrow, we're gonna have an hour and a half long video. So we're gonna end it out here. This project is just starting. Like I said, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get that in. We got to go get the burn sail in. Mm, yeah. Then you guys can actually see some parts if you want to get some on that hatch. I'll do a walkthrough on it for them. And then, like I said, down below, you want to get some parts. So that's going to wrap it up. We're all done here tonight. Catch you guys in the morning.